I'm Michelle Linden Mayer and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use hammer and setting tools to set an eyelet. There are other types of tools available to set eyelets. Some of the benefits of using this method are that it's quick, very effective and less expensive. Eyelets have many different uses including attaching items and creating interesting features on your page. They also come in lots of different sizes and shapes. What you'll need You'll need some cardstock, a hammer, setting tools, a setting mat and some eyelets. Firstly you'll need a setting mat. It's important to use a setting mat as opposed to a self-healing mat. This is because your self-healing mat is quite soft and it will end up with holes in it. A setting mat is made of denser material and will protect your surface more effectively. You can now place your cardstock over the top of the setting mat. Our next step will be to make a hole in the cardstock for the eyelet to be placed into. Most setting tools come in three different sizes. You will need to select the tool that will make the correct size hole through the bottom of your eyelet to fit through. The next step is to place your hole making tool in the position that you would like your eyelet. Make sure that the setting mat is underneath. Take your hammer and hit the top of the tool so that it makes a hole in your cardstock. <coughs> Repeat this step if necessary to get a nice neat hole. We will now insert our eyelet into the hole we have made by holding the eyelet in place and flipping our piece of cardstock over. You will now need to select the correct size tool for setting your eyelet. Position the setter so that it rests securely in the centre of your eyelet at a 90 degree angle. Use the hammer to hit the top of the setter a few times until the back of the eyelet splits and flattens. Happy scrapping!